So for this tee, for example, just a simple black t-shirt, and I think I paid like eight quid for it. The jeans that I'm wearing, I picked them up for like 20 quid. And these jeans were originally 150 pounds. So if you know what you're doing, you'll be able to source some designer clothes and all that type of stuff for a really good price. What is going on YouTube recently when I bumped into a follower and he said to me, oh, I thought I'd see you wearing like head to toe designer clothes. And I said to him, look, most of the time I am not even wearing designers like that. If I'm to be perfectly honest, I actually really enjoy spending not too much money on designer clothes. So I definitely have my moments, but one of the things I like to do is mix things up. Like, don't get me wrong, I have quite a few designer jackets, designer jeans, t-shirts, all of the stuff, bags, accessories, and all this stuff. But I tend to mix it up with a lot of cheaper stuff. Brands that I really like that don't cost an arm and a leg and still have really great quality at the same time. But I definitely encourage people to look for all different types of brands. I admit when I was going through, I felt like I always had to kind of wear designers, but typically you just don't need to do that. Mix it up and wear what you want. Brands like... Brands like Selected Hom. Now, when I was going through my phase where I didn't want to spend too much money, and I still go through that phase all the time. Trust me, I am a bargain hunter. This was one of the brands, Selected Hom, which I found where I really liked the quality of the clothing and the price point wasn't crazy as well. 45 pounds for this. And it's a really nice quality jumper by Selected Hom, and they do lots of really, they do lots of really nice items. So I definitely recommend this one of these brands to, is to check out is Selected Home. So you can see it's a waffle knit, stuff like this, like jumpers, knits is definitely one that is my thing. Like I love jumpers and knits and jackets and all that type of stuff. So it's definitely one to check out. Another brand which I've recently got into, which I've found is called Wax London. Now I actually discovered this Wax London through our sponsor today, Fred. Fred Online is an online platform which basically helps to kind of put outfits together for you. Sometimes if you're feeling like inspired and you're looking for different outfits, especially for different occasions and different seasons, then Fred can help you to do that. Simply you sign up to their platform and actually if you use our link below, you get 20% off any brand on Fred. That's full price. And you must spend a minimum of 75 pounds now that only lasts for three days but all your favorite brands are sold on Fred and you can actually go on there and find lots of different items they've got stylists working for them as well and they can send you information based on your preferences and send you lots of different outfit suggestions they work with a lot of authentic stockists to bring you a wide selection of different brands this is one of the brands that I found on Fred which is a brand called wax London. Come winter or autumn, I love me some overshirt. One, they're a UK based company, which is something I like because I like to support UK brands. Two, the quality on this is super, super nice. So if you look carefully at the quality, you can just see the stitching and the way it's made. When it comes to clothing, I really appreciate the quality of how clothes are made, how they're put together and I just like craftsmanship when it comes to clothes. Detail on this man, it's so nice. Like you can see it's got a nice finishing underneath the sleeve, the thick knit that they've used and the intricate patterns. This is a really good quality overshirt. But winter time, this could be your, your go-to. I've already picked up about four of these already, okay? Now these are about 110, 120 pounds. Now granted, it's not the cheapest overshirt, but that's the thing with me. When something comes across to me as good quality, that I don't mind spending the money, okay? So another brand that I like is called Cos. Guys, all of these items are all from Fred. Don't forget to sign up to their website where you can get 20% off all of the brands with no brand restrictions through Fred. Cos is more like a premium, a little bit more like a premium high street if you want to call it that. And they're not that cheap. What I usually do with Cos is I usually wait till they go on sale and that's when I go in and start selecting some bits. But I thought this oversized sweater t-shirt jersey was really nice. So if you don't want to break the bank, but you're looking for something that's really nice and premium, check out Coz. The next low-key brand that I think really could deserve a shout out is Arquette. If you're looking for blanks and kind of simple, plain essentials, loungewear, athleisure type of stuff, then Arquette is definitely one to um, check out. Now, I, just, I found this set, which is the t-shirt, and the green shorts. Now I saw someone wearing an outfit and it was all green and I was inspired by it. I said, you know what, I've got lots of different color clothing but I don't have much green. Quality of this stuff is really nice. It's got a nice thick weight to it. Really nice finishing on the inside and you can even see there that the finishing on the inside. It's a really nice premium cotton. Again, it's an outfit that won't break the bank. And I could mix this stuff up. I could wear this top 
I could wear these bottoms and I can wear a really nice pair of designer trainers or I could wear like a designer bag and that would instantly make the whole outfit appear to be more expensive than what it actually is. So yeah, that's another brand that I would, I would say to recommend is Arquette. Another one of my premium go-to brands is YMC. Now, YMC is a brand that I used to wear a lot back in the day. I haven't really bought too much from them recently, so I'm really happy to get these two t-shirts. But one thing I used to love YMC for is their knits. Now, come winter time, I am big into my knits. Waffle knits, sweaters, oversized, fitted, all of that type of stuff, I love it. And YMC is one of those brands where I used to go to to find lots of different really cool items on there as well. You've got this nice stitch on the outside, which I think is a little bit, a little bit unique, lightweight to it. So something like this, and these ones I thought were really cool. So I picked up those two as well. Obviously with it being summertime, I've been loading up on the t-shirts because it has been really humid and hot as of late. So the Newly Jeans t-shirt is definitely another one that I've been looking at. Now I could wear this with a nice pair of Stone Island jeans. I can have a Stone Island jacket on top, but Newly Jeans now, you can get a lot of their stuff on sale so, and it won't break the bank as well. So yeah, Newly Jeans is another one that I recommend you guys to try out, okay? So another brand that I found, again, through Fred that I thought I would try out because I really like the look of their items is this one called Fred Bear. For the cargo shorts, this Fred Bear brand is not expensive like that. It's not mad expensive. Like cargo pants for like 20 quid, I think 30 quid top, which is a really good price. Pants, I mean, Stone Island's cargo pants are going up to like nearly like the 300, kind of 350 mark nowadays, which is crazy prices for clothing. When you can get a nice pair of simple cargo shorts like this or cargo pants for like 20, 30 pounds, it makes perfect sense. When you match this stuff, stuff up with different types of items, people are not really gonna know the difference if I'm to be perfectly honest with you. If you're looking for more like cargo shorts or cargo pants, then I would definitely say Fred Bear is one to check out. So the next one, which is gonna be quite funny for some people, but I've actually done videos on this before and a couple of my followers went out and bought the products on my recommendation and they said, you know what, Hox? That was spot on with that one. And that is M&S. I actually done a video at the end of last year where I had an M&S jacket, which was I think like 80 quid, but the quality on it was so nice. And I said to people, I bet you if I had the same jacket and there was a Stone Island badge on it, people wouldn't tell the difference and they would think the jacket was really nice. And people agreed with me. And a couple of our followers went out and bought the jackets and they messaged me and said, Hawk, that jacket you recommended was spot on. It's one of the best low, lower cost jackets that I have purchased. So really appreciate that. I mean, the quality on this is really nice. The weight is really good. It's made from 100% cotton as well. Can't really go wrong with it. Right, sticking with the bottoms theme, we have a pair of Only and Sons. I saw them online, I thought they looked really cool. The quality feels really nice, it feels really soft. It's good solid weight, well made, 45 pounds for a pair of the Only and Sons jeans, which I think is very reasonable for a good quality pair of jeans that's not gonna break the bank and is still gonna come across as premium. So the next bottoms I want to show you is another Only and Sons cargo pants. These ones actually remind me of a pair of Stone Island cargo pants, which I have. If I'm to be honest with you, I've bought a few Stone Island cargo pants and I'm surprised to say how many times Stone Island cargo pants have actually ripped on me and I've had to go and get them repaired. Some of these designers are can be cool, but sometimes you get this stuff and the quality can be really, really disappointing. So why would I want to spend that much money when I can get something which is very, very similar and I would only spend 38 pounds, 38 pounds for a pair of really nice, thick, good quality, nice weight cargo pants. But my advice to you is to try different brands that are not super expensive and experiment. I managed to come across these brands by just kind of experimenting and researching. I'm sure you guys can do the same as well. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'm out. Peace.